Let me know. Let you know. Let you know about consumers with excessive optimism. Shame on you. And, and I think we'll agree. If you've got excessive optimism in uh, in your financial affairs, it will possibly lead to. Uh, we'd rather you be a little bit, a little bit pessimistic. About that's going to force you to uh, do the planning that we believe is essential to get ahead. So our friends at the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, uh, we uh, we're, we've got some material for them we want to share with you, and uh, we're asking the question: What's in your budget? These are the things that should be. Um, if you're planning for the unexpected, uh, we recommend that you've got uh, six to twelve months minimum in what we say reserves. It's not. It's usually not the daily routine expenses that wreck people's budgets. It's the emergencies. Uh, prepare for these by socking away ten percent of each paycheck into a rainy day fund. Minimum is a year. Minimum years are safe, but you got to start somewhere. Tackle the six months. High five your partner or high five yourself, and then get it towards that one year. All right. Absolutely. Next, Craig. So you've got your uh, periodic expenses, your right. known periodic expenses. No, so what? That's a part of your budget. B- budget for these things. Birthdays and anniversaries and holidays and things like that. That most people think, okay, I know what my gas bill is, my house payment, my car payments, and da da. Think about the months of the year that you have people who you always celebrate by buying them a gift or having a holiday dinner at your home or any of those things that you spend extra money on. Those are the months that sneak up on people. Your expenses spike up, boom. More money than you're planning on spending. you got two month, too much month at the end of your money. Um, next is obviously long-term savings. We talk about it a lot. That's a part of your budget. That's something you've got to be doing. Put aside that money for retirement, etc. Um, household and vehicle maintenance. Is that in your budget? Are you accounting for the, the 200 the 300 the 600 the $1,000 a month it's going to cost, not just for your car, but also for your home maintenance? What else, Craig? You've got uh, travel. What about travel? Do, do you, have you budgeted for that? Family you know, vacation. Family vacation. you got to have that as part of your normal budget, or don't take the trip. Don't decide on a whim. Oh, great, we can save some money by getting a special on these plane tickets, and then we'll just stay at a budget place and blah, blah, blah. I hear people say all the time they decided at the last minute to take a vacation, get away, the family needed it, and they spent about three times more money than they were planning. So, yeah, a budget. They didn't plan for it, right. Um, major purchases, buying a home, buying a vehicle, remodeling your house. Are you planning for that, or are you charging on a credit card because you didn't plan? What else? Charitable giving. Do you like to give to charity? Are you going to support a number of charities that you've supported in the past annually? Make sure it's part of your budget. And always set aside something to help. If you've got a little bit of excess... Give back, folks. Just give back. The first thing we remind you, though, is you got to give to yourself. If you don't, I, it's it's great to be charitable, but if you're not, if you don't have enough money in reserves and you haven't buttoned down the other expenses that you have, don't don't throw that extra money in the collection basket necessarily. If it's going to cause you to now run up a credit card to pay for your expenses for your groceries. Um, next is uh, health insurance choices. Are you going through making sure you're taking advantage of what your employer offers you? Are you looking at your personal plan if you're self-insuring or paying for your insurance outside of work and making sure it's covering you pro- appropriately but most cost-effective? Through your employer, there are a lot of options that I guarantee can save you money or leave money on the table. What else, Craig? Your actual investments. You've got a budget to invest money, not just your long-term savings, but your actual investments themselves. IRAs, contributing to your 401k any other type of investment, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, those things. So make sure you put that in the budget as well. All right, folks, all of that should be in your budget. And if you want to check it out in more detail, you can get to the website, lifeisyouownit.com. We will share this. Won't be Rosa. Thank you so much, Paul.